this is the deepest shade of that very trending foundation that you've been wanting me to try. If you are new to my channel, my name is Ohema. Welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, hey. If you haven't yet seen my previous video on what happened to my face, you should go watch it. So here we are with the about face foundations a lot of you have been asking for it so we are going to jump into it just so we can see what we can see but before we see what about face is all about everything i'm going to be using in this video <laughs> I'm sorry. Before we jump into the video, everything I'll be using will be tagged right here. So definitely check that view products tag. If it's not there, it will be linked down below in the description. So definitely go ahead and check it out. Both links are affiliated. So anytime you click it and you buy from it, you're going to be supporting your girl. Thank you. Well, let's go ahead and jump into the About Face video. <laughs> On the Ulta Beauty website, the About Face performer skin perfecting foundation it doesn't have like an elaborate description they describe the foundations as buildable medium coverage breathable long wearing and second skin it also has a blue agave and there are a about 45 shades in this range. So you first pick up the foundation, it's gonna come in this plastic cover, okay? And then at the very top of it, you're gonna see the shade name over there. This is what the packaging on the actual foundation looks like. I feel like you should still shake your foundations even if it's not very fluid. On it, it says the performer, it says skin focused foundation. And on the other side, it says about, about face. On the bottom of it, you're gonna find your shade. This one I have right now is the shade RD3. This is the deepest shade i like the way the top is because it's going to be very easy for you to open it's not smooth so even if you have joint issues you're still going to be able to open it when you take it out this is what it looks like this is the doe foot on it it's a big doe foot this doe foot's got some girth to it this is what it looks like of course it's rounded it has a little scoop in the middle so you can scoop some out um this is the deepest shade this is rd3 this is what that looks like okay honey i love when brands come out with a shade range that is deep enough for me and my sisters to be able to use because like look at this i don't have to say oh my god i'm gonna have to try to make this very light shade work um even if i didn't have a shade in this range i would still be happy to make a deeper shade work because it's there now let's see if i can actually have a shade for myself now the second deepest shade is rd3 neutral this is the one that i'm thinking is going to be my skin shade because i have a neutral undertone unless there's a foundation shade that is deep enough and it's golden i'm gonna be neutral so always always go for that neutral shade and honey this is my skin in a bottle okay next we have rd2 and this is a cool foundation Ooh, okay okay i see i see what they did there this is not like a regular graduation i feel like they use the depth these two are deep right but one is neutral one is cool and one is neutral of course the cooler one is gonna pull a little bit more darker this is like the third deepest shade and this is what it looks like i'm going to rearrange it so you can see like the shade graduation the second shade i should have swatched was rd2 cool because as you can see it is cooler but it doesn't have the depth that rd3 cool has but it's also kind of like a little bit lighter on this on the skin compared to rd3 cool and then i can swatch rd3 neutral even though rd3 neutral is technically the second deepest shade i feel like on the range if you want it to go according to depth this is what it looks like now this is a gorgeous color graduation i really really want to swatch the rest of them just to see how i could rearrange it to have a gorgeous gradient and tell me that this is not the perfect shade graduation that you want to see from all the brands out there this is nice as much as i love having my foundations pulled darker like i love it i feel like i'm going to be able to blend rd3 neutral in and it would disappear and look beautiful on my skin for my winter skin rd3 neutral is that girl i also feel like maybe the next cool shade will also be a good match like i am very invested in finding how many shades in the about face range that i can use because it's looking like i'm probably going to be able to use more than one shade in this range and i am here for it what i'm going to do today is use rd3 neutral as my foundation shade it will be a gorgeous match i just i could just 
feel it. It's gonna be gorgeous. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime with the One Size Secure the Glow Tacky Hydrating Primer. You can actually use this as a moisturizer topper to give you like extra moisture. I will add a little bit of the MAC Serumizer on it. I can't find my actual big bottle of the Serumizer, so I'm using my travel size. Like this thing is really, really good. And I also feel like it helps my makeup stay in place for like a really long time. Okay, this foundation is blending in like a dream. It definitely has some depth to it, but tell me you can see this foundation on my skin. Like I'm not even done blending it in. It matches my face perfectly. It matches the tone on my face spot on. I'm shook, okay? I can put this on my face and go. Like, of course, I don't know what it's gonna look like once my oils come through, but as it stands right now, this looks really, really good. The match looks really gorgeous, very much so the depth of my face. It matches all the parts that I wanted to cover. It looks, it looks really good. I love the finish on it. And you can see that my texture is not like jumping out at you. Like my texture is not screaming at you. Unlike the other foundation I tried, I should have just said 10 out of 10 will not recommend. Absolutely not. Don't, don't, don't try that other foundation. It was not a good foundation, okay? Like, it was not good. This foundation, however, subliminal, sublime, okay? Let's go in with some concealer. We're using the Fenty 490N first, and then we're gonna go in with 485C. Okay, we're just gonna use the butt of the sponge to blend everything out, just to make sure we don't have any harsh lines. We're gonna go ahead and set with Benai Nutmeg Setting Powder. We're going with a little bit of our Worthy We Brontour. We're gonna use it as a contour. Let's snatch the jaw. Guys, do you see what my skin is looking like, even with the powder and everything on top of it? And do you see the contrast between this and what the Laura Mercier looked like on my skin tone? Okay, you guys, so this is my finished look with the About Face Foundation. The time is now 3.49 p.m. I'm gonna go and come back in a few hours. I don't expect this foundation to control my oils, but it did say that I had an all-day and long wear to it. So I just want to know what it's gonna look like once my oils come. The time is now 9.45. So it's six hours since I actually finished my base and this is what my face is looking like as glowy as my base was when i left my base is pretty much still the same and i am not upset at it like you can see that's not like exaggerated texture on my face Base, my skin looks really really good and i am here for it who doesn't want to have this gorgeous skin at the end of the day when you've been running around all day. I don't know how well it will hold up in the summer, but I feel like in the summer, I still want to have this gorgeous, dewy, glowier, slightly glowy skin, even if I'm going to go out because I don't know what it's going to do in the summer. But for now, this is looking really, really good. About Face did amazing on the shades, did it amazing on the match, the shade range. Everything is looking really good. Now, for a brand that I had never heard anything about, I am very impressed. Let me know down below in the comments if you've tried anything from About Face. Thank you so much for watching. Love you lots. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.